So for question one, we are given a limit and we are asked to compute it using a sign chart. So that using a sign chart hints at limits at infinity. It doesn't tell me, but it hints at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to naively plug in minus two. So I'm going to look at minus two, minus one, minus two, minus three, over minus two cubed, minus two plus two squared. And this gives me minus three times minus five over minus eight times zero, which equals 15 over zero. And as it's a number over zero, this implies the directional limits are plus or minus infinity. I don't know which one, but it's plus or minus infinity. So because it's plus or minus infinity, I'm gonna create a sign chart to determine the directional limits. And now I look at the sign chart because it's already factored. I can look at each of my pieces, okay? And now the factors here, it tells me, this tells me it is one, this tells me three, this tells me zero, and this tells me minus two. So I make the chart about the points minus two, zero, one, three, with x minus one, x minus three, x cubed, and x plus two square, okay? And now I'm gonna complete the sign chart the way that I know how to do it. However you complete your sign chart, that's perfectly okay. Right end behavior is positive, left end behavior is negative. I change and I change at one. Right end behavior is positive, left end behavior is negative. So I change and I change at three. Right end behavior is positive, left end behavior is negative, so I change and I change at zero. Right end behavior is positive, left end behavior is positive, so I don't change. And this gives me my sign chart, which I complete by doing sign multiplication. Okay. Now, when looking at my directional limits, I want to look just to the left and just to the right. And we'll look, want to look at those signs. So here, as x minus one, x minus three over x cubed, x plus two squared is less than zero just before x equals minus 2. And the limit as x approaches minus 2 of x minus 3. And we got the form number over 0. The limit as x approaches minus 2 from the negative of x minus 1, x minus 3 over x cubed, x plus 2 squared equals negative infinity. And as x minus 1, x minus 3 over x cubed, x plus 2 squared is less than zero just after x equals minus two. And we got the form a number over zero. The limit as x approaches two from the positive, minus two from the positive 
of x minus 1, x minus 3, over x cubed, x plus 2 squared, equals negative infinity. As the limit, as x approaches 2 from the negative of x minus 1, x minus 3, over x cubed time, times x plus 2 squared equals the limit negative infinity and the limit as x approaches minus 2 from the positive of x minus 3 or x minus 1 times x minus 3 over x cubed x plus 2 squared equals minus infinity. The limit as x approaches minus 2 of x minus 1, x minus 3 over x cubed, x plus 2 squared equals minus infinity. So as the two sides are equal, we get minus infinity. Now, how could this differ? Well, if the sign chart, if the function we have, if my sign chart is different on either side, say one's positive and one's negative, I still calculate these two directional limits. And one would get minus infinity and one would get plus infinity. And as those limits are different, it would not exist. And if they both from both sides went positive, then it would be positive infinity. But you'll note, I'm looking just before and just after, and I ignore all of this. I just look just before and just after. Now we have a compute the following limit. Carefully explain all of your steps. So here, if I naively plugging in, Plugging 9 into our function gives 1 over root 3 minus 1 over 3 over 9 minus 9, or root 9, sorry, equals 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 divided by 0, which equals 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. So this tells me I have to do something. So getting a common denominator gives the limit as x approaches 9 of 3 minus root x over 3 root x times 1 over x minus 9. Okay. Now here, I want to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of this 3 minus root x. So this equals the limit as x approaches 9 of 3 minus root x over 3 minus root x times 3 plus root x over 3 plus root x times 1 over x minus 9. And this equals the limit as x approaches 9 of 9 minus x over 3 root x times 1 over 3 plus root x times 1 over x minus 9 using the difference of squares formula. Now, I have this 9 minus x and x minus 9, which might be a pain, but I'm going to 
swap the order by multiplying by negative one. So this equals the limit as x approaches nine of minus one x minus nine over three root x times one over three plus root x times one over x minus nine. And now I can cancel this. This equals the limit as x approaches nine of one over three root x, sorry, minus one over three root x times three plus root x by the cancellation law, which equals minus one over three root nine plus three or times three plus root nine, which equals minus one over three times three times three plus three. This is by direct substitution or by the direct substitution property, which equals minus one over nine times six, which equals minus one over 54.